Welcome back everyone, Stuart here from Bee Sanctuary. Thanks for watching this episode. Today we're doing inspections on four of our hives that we did removals. If you're new to beekeeping then you'll see how we do the inspection on our hives, what we look for and then um, if you're an experienced beekeeper and you see anything you think we can improve on or do better then please leave comments below, let me know, we're always willing to learn and um, we want to obviously do the best for the bees. This uh, first inspection is the hive that we removed from a pot with the bamboo uh, poles in it. We're going to have a look now, it's the first time we're doing an inspection on this hive since we did the removal. So we're just going to check and see how well uh, this uh, colony has established itself and whether or not uh, we've, we're going to have a strong swarm here. So this is the first time we're actually opening this one. Uh, we haven't opened this one before. No. So we're going to have a look now and see what's happening. Yeah. Seems we've got about four empty frames here, and then about six. Yes, they packed. Eh? Working on. Yeah, there's not many on the okay. sides. Yeah, there's a piece of comb on here. That's a piece of comb we put in. Yeah. They seem to have started building. So what can you see on you? Just building a bit, so they've connected it up. Okay. Okay. What's on this frame? This is frame six. Just put five with next and pollen there with these. The other side empty pretty much. Next frame. Putting it back somewhere, eh? Yeah. yeah. This here is frame seven. And it seems we've got some really nice brood on here. Bring our frame number eight. Builds beautifully up to the top there. On both sides. That is looking fantastic. Okay. That was frame eight. Going on to now frame, frame number nine. This one's very full of a lot of brood here, some lava. Yeah. Well, with this side too, very full. Looks like a red, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is frame number nine, yeah. Okay. Last frame here. So I just what I do is I'm keeping a record how many of the frames in the box have got eggs rather. Frame number ten. Quite a bit of brood on this one, quite a bit of bees Yeah, she's laying nice and clean now. She's a bit of neck today. See how nice and plump that is. She's laid in almost every single cell. Uh, the second inspection is the hive from the episode where we did two removals in one episode and um, this is the one from the camera warehouse. So we're just checking, this was a brand new swarm that had just landed and um, they had no comb at all so it'll be really interesting to see whether or not they're establishing themselves well um, in this uh, box that we've given them. We did give them a little bit of uh, comb to kickstart them as well, um, let's, let's see how they're doing. Okay, so this is hive number 17. This was um, the removal from the apple box in the photographer. It was that studio with all the cameras. I'm sure these guys are nice and chilled. Not aggressive at all, eh? Yeah, I'm liking the Love the smell of it. Love it. it smells so awesome.
Okay, so one of the things I'm learning, you have to center your comb in the frame when you do the removal. And then also, um, we might need to use more than one elastic band, because otherwise then this happens. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm just gonna take this piece off there. They're not really using it. There's a little bit of pollen in it, but I'm just gonna take it off. I'm pretty sure they've built quite a bit on these other frames. I'll leave the big piece on you. So we're just gonna cut that off now. Right there, hatch pencil. See here, this comb is also not great here. Show the camera there, please. There go. Yeah, skew. yeah, it's pretty skew and yeah. it's sort of built up away from the frame on the other piece of comb. The issue with this, ah, oh, I can see here, this next frame is not looking promising. Ah, comb's also got They build it off of here and then sometimes they'll connect this frame with another frame between the comb. That drop off, eh? I don't know, I think this one might have come off of this one here. I think it was over here and it just kind of broke off. Do you know what we did wrong here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This comb was never put into the middle of the frame. Is it this way? Eh? Yeah. Okay, this third inspection is the other half in that uh, episode of two removals and um, this one was from the outside furniture where the bees had also just landed. There was a little cookie of comb um, but uh, it wasn't anything that we could use. So also with this one we, we gave them some comb and uh, just want to see is this, is this queen strong, is she laying and um, do we think that these guys will stick around with us and we've got a, a hive that uh, in the future is going to be a, a good production hive. Okay, okay, hive number 18. So hive number 17 and hive number 18 we brought back on the same day. Hive number 18 was um, from the chair. The chair, the one that we vacuumed inside the chair. And um, we worried about hive number 17. There was a brand new swarm that had just landed in the apple box. Um, we pretty pretty much think there's no queen in there at the moment. There's some queen cells, so we're hoping there's a new queen. We'll, we'll check that hive during the week again just to make sure there's uh, positive activity. Hive number 18, small swarm as well. Okay. It seems to go a bit of honey there, a bit of cap honey. Yeah, so just along here we got some capped honey. It's a bit going around this side. We've also got a bit of honey but none that is capped yet. This queen is just laying. laying yeah. Laying. Oh, that's yeah. Right. So, so, so that's what we want because the stronger this box gets, then we can put a super on top of it. Yeah, now this queen is... Oh, yeah, beautiful. You can even cap any at the top there as well. Yeah. All of this brood that, that's being laid, they're growing, um, which means the swarm in the colony is going to grow. So I'm happy with this one. This one is doing the right thing. Oh, plenty. So, yeah, there's a lot of things in this one. Not as much brood as there's other. Yeah, there's quite a bit of brood in all of this side. I would think if the queen is anywhere, she will probably be on this face. They have a good amount of this as well. Yeah. And then your side has quite a bit more food in that side. Put this one here, I'll toss some um, two frames that side, two frames this side. Okay, yeah. Okay, last inspection for this episode and uh, this was the 
hive from Centurion where we took the bees out of the water feature and you can still see that uh, we've got the uh, uh, bee vac box so we're going to be removing that now and then also just checking to see whether or not the queen has established herself inside this colony. Let's have a look, we haven't opened this one up yet either. So do we want to take this top lid off first or we just want to take this whole box? Lift the move? whole box first. So yeah, they just ended up building a slight piece there. Yeah. Take this lid off. A little bit of nectar, a little bit of color up here. Yeah. Not too much else. Oh, there's beautiful mm -hmm. inside we've also got a bit of nectar. Mm -hmm. oh, we can fix this um, piece there, yeah. So, uh, okay. but this side we've got beautiful things. I'm checking this out, I'm not sure if that's good or is that funny? It's good, it's good. Beautiful. Oh, okay, she has laid beautiful. that side perfectly. Inside she's made perfectly with this piece of But this piece is looking detached with that tool. I am loving it, okay? Okay, yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, this side too is actually really nice. Yeah, but they pulled it up in front of the neck with it. We're building up some thick oh, film on the side. Yeah, laying like a champ there. So let's take this off. Yeah, okay. she's on the side. Yeah, the side looks just like mine. Can you hold some on her? Yeah. Yes, check how thick she's broke this up. Right? Like, they broke this up. Oh, oh, it's too. That's not uh, That's not great. Right. Ideal. Mm -hmm. So they've built two, two frames on one. So, I mean, thing you could take. Two pieces of comb on this one, or over. Now, I'd really you want to actually end it with this. Okay. Uh, I think let's leave it for now. I'm going to make a note of it. Come back and we need to have a look and we'll see if we can do it. See if we can fix it up there. Maybe take one off and put it on the front. If we can, yeah, or at least move it further down the street. Moving on to this next scrap here, we have a slight problem. We have to break this comb there. We're going to have to take it off. It was attached to this sheet. Uh, okay. Now, if you haven't done those sheets properly, yeah. there's a bit of pollen on there, but they can go without a little bit. Thanks for watching everyone, really really appreciate you, please hit the subscribe or the like button if you enjoyed this episode. Um, we've got some more removals coming up and uh, videos on how to build uh, little bits of uh, homemade equipment and DIY stuff. So if you enjoy that and you want to learn something new then please subscribe to our channel and uh, we look forward to seeing you again. Thanks. Okay, so. <laughs> Number 22, which was number 22? Number, number 22, 22. <laughs> Laurel and Hardy. <laughs>